Hello, my YouTube friends. In this lesson, I just want to show some very, very important tips in Revit when it comes to RIBA modeling and also detailing. The first tip that I want to show you is on how you can avoid, you know, these collisions between RIBA and also some other, you know, components, maybe like in mechanical, electrical, and plumbing, you know, equipment in Revit, how you can avoid it. And it's not just the, we are going to use tools which will help you to move the riba while maintaining the you know the parametric nature of the riba set so that is the first thing that i want to show you and in addition to that i want to show you on how you can you know move the riba without affecting you know the the riba set you notice that this one is a riba set attached spacing and the quantity and you can delete or move the, these ribas while maintaining everything as you can see here and i'll show you all that after that, I'm going to show you again on how you can, you know, avoid these, you know, this kind of overlapping of riba to riba. You can see that we have two riba, two ribas there. We have this one. We also have that one. I want to show you how you can avoid such kind of situation because this is not professional. All right. So I want to show you how you can drop the bar and using the best tools in revit all right and finally i'll show you on how you can also do the same on this one but just affecting you know if you want you can see that this bar is in the same plane with this other bar but if you want this bar to drop a bit so that it's easy for you to read even the one who is constructing but not affecting the 3d view all right the other method it's going to move the bar you know the actual bar in the 3d view also but this other method i'll show you on how you can just move this bar graphically just in this view without affecting the 3d view so all these tips i'll explain in this lesson so without wasting time let's get started in this lesson now before i proceed if you want to join me in a course please make sure that you check the links in the description all right so now i'll go back to the 3d view here and let's get started we see on how you can avoid such collisions all right so i'll just go to this view okay and you can see that assuming that this could be a mechanical electrical even plumbing equipment which is maybe interfering with your bar and you notice that this one is already the model is already created in riba and you can see that the quantity and the spacing you don't want to disturb this but simply maybe move this one okay maybe on the side or you just want to delete assuming that you just want to delete this one while maintaining you know the spacing and everything for the riba set all you need to do is select on the riba then click on edit bars all right it you can see that it says modify the position removes and resets individual bars and selected sets path or error enforcement so if i just click there you see that i have modify bars all right so if i select on that one now i have another option to remove if i just click on remove it will disappear right then i can click on finish cancel then i'll select on that one then go back to edit bars select on the same bar then remove it and i just want to remove make sure that you click on finish and i want to remove the other one because there are a number of links there so i have to make sure that i you know remove all of them then click on remove and ah, i think there should be the last one now this one here then click on edit bars then select on it then remove okay this is the last one and click on finish so you notice that if i select here it hasn't disturbed you know the parametric nature of this one you can see that the spacing if i want maybe i can even reduce the spacing maybe 200 you see that it will still okay anyway it's just adding another bar while avoiding that one i'll control and do so you can see that you can start changing but i haven't disturbed the riba set all right so let me also do the same somewhere here on top if i just go on top here okay i'll demonstrate this on this one but this time i'll move this one on this side all right so if this is an opening and you don't want the bar to cross there on that opening i can select on this part and you see that that is the riba set on the slab all right some of you may say that why can't I use the move, just the normal move command. If you do that, you are going to disturb the riba set. And when it comes to revisions or you want to change the spacing, it will be difficult for you and you don't want to you know, to go that route. So these are the tools that are there for you. I'll just click there, select on that. Now under modify, you can now move it. Don't go straight to move, but use this option. Now I can even move it like that. There are two, one at the top and at the bottom. I'll select the other riba set, which is at the bottom then click on edit bars then 
modify then move and i can now right click right click finish and click that point and move it that direction then click on finish so i've moved it from this opening if i click there you see that it's going to maintain everything if i want to maintain maybe uh 200 i can do that and everything is okay as you can see so finally let me just read this one once again because i don't want it to be there now i'm just demonstrating you are going to find you know you know the ways on how you can use all these options as you keep on modeling so make sure that you master all these tools all right so i'll go to custom edit then i'll select this one i want maybe let me just delete it just delete there finish select this one okay then uh, edit select on it then finish ah maybe there's another one make sure that because there's top and bottom select on this one remove or first you remove then finish and you see that it has disappeared so that is the first tool that you can use now let's go to the other option where you just have to maybe to oh let me just click the corner there right then i'm on top here then orbit like this if i just zoom in here these are river constraints now for the river constraints it means that you are moving also it's similar to this one okay but this one you you can either use this one or the river constraint whereby if you want to move this one i can select on it right i can go to a particular view all right like this one all right and simply use this option edit pass but why i don't want to use this one is that the ed, the, the river constraints it's able to lock these bars together that means that if you change maybe the size for that river or the size of the host element it's going to adapt and nothing will look you know you know so weird in your view everything will look perfect all right so i like using the river constraints in these cases so i've selected that one you see that the bar ends here and i want it maybe to you know to be in a different line maybe down there just click on edit constraints there now you have to make sure that once you are there you see that the plane that is being shown is vertical i want the horizontal plane so i'll go on top there and select is it that one oh there should be a plane on top okay i have to come here and maybe pick that dot okay so you can see that now i'm picking the plane on top because i either want to move it up and down now we have these options here all right this is what we call if i just click there it's a two-way constraint i think i've talked about two-way constraints in one of the videos but in this case we are talking about this one we have the two bars there you can notice that if i zoom in here it's from center to center okay that's how the relationship will be if i click there mm, okay now it's from move face to face of the bar as you can see from here so here it's showing zero so if i just click that number after i you know specify how i want the ration for the bus to be whether from center to center or face to face then i can click that number and now if i just enter maybe let me start with 50 start with 50 then i just want to watch what happens here then enter okay so it goes up so i'll put a negative there because i want to drop it down then i'll say negative maybe maybe uh, 25 maybe negative 25 enter okay as you can see now i have it right here if i go in front here you can see that layer now is somewhere here and this is in 3d okay so if something that you want to do the goodness is that these two bars are locked to each other and make sure that you click on the green check mark then the bars you can see that that entire layer now is, is you know it's a uh it's below this one and i can also do the same this one the way i just did it okay actually this is now for the slab but i've explained on what you need to do on how you can avoid such kind of collisions by using the edit constraints and also this one now let me go back to this detail here you see that if i select on this bar that i place you, you know on this wall it's cross it crosses this column and i don't want it to be like this so i'll just remove these two bars so that it the detail looks the way it's supposed to be and that is how uh, i'm going to reinforce you know this column so i'll select 
you know the river set there in the column then i'll go to custom edit bars we've talked about this one then just click on modify or first select the bar because i want to remove this one remove this one then select the other bar and remove it also and click on finish now you notice that if i select this one it's a riba set but i've removed those bars in between and when you do the scheduling these will not be counted because they are not there all right but the parametric nature of this is still maintained and they can change the spacing and everything okay now let me go to this detail this is now when you are detailing the beams and everything remember that i moved this bar in 3d it also moves in this detail because i did from there now assuming that you don't want to move you don't want to move let me deal with which one so that you can see what i'm trying to do if you don't want you want to move this one maybe uh, further up but you don't want it to be moved in 3d this is the option that you are going to use in 2d views only once you select on the bar you can now go to displace elements once you pick on that you have these grips that you can use to move it so i can even move it okay deliberate let me just move it somewhere there above and also select this one okay and this is deliberate so that if i go to the 3d you notice that it will only move here and not in 3d i'll click on displace even on this one then let me just drag it even up to somewhere there i'll select this one let me also hold control and select that one select this one and select that one then let me go to 3d view okay now i can see it right so i'll just be in this view click on the front you notice that these bars are almost at the in the same plane but if i go to this detail you see that the two bars i move this bar up there if i want i can even move it further i just want you to know the difference with edit constraints and that other option there for editing where i have to move and delete that one you are affecting everything within the model but this one is just that particular view if you want to manipulate to make it readable you know when you are detailing these are the tools that you have to play with as you are doing riba detailing in revit all right so let me move it even further oh ah now okay once you just apply that to this one will be deactivated all you need to is just come here okay deliberate i just want to move it up and up so that ah somewhere there now let me select this bar hold control that bar hold control this one and that one and go to the 3d view you see that it's still there at the bottom but here we have moved it like that so these are some of the tips and tricks it may seem not to be important but once you master this that will differentiate you from the amateurs and the professionals when it comes to detailing so make use of these tools if you like what i'm doing on this channel please make sure that you like my video and subscribe to my channel see you in some upcoming lessons